Okay, so this is fun. Um, so at a recent uh, Trump rally, um, some of the cult members um, at this Trump rally were asked to define uh, woke and what it means. So let's take a listen. Um, this is for comedy purposes. This might um, chuckle you to death. Um, you might not be able to laugh after this because you'll have to get all your laughter out. Um, but yeah, let's just listen. Let's just take a look at, uh, at this hilarious, um, clip. How would you define wokeism? Oh, let me, woke let me, let me, let me start here. Yeah, I'll get I, I'm not good at defining woke. Okay. Let him do that, <laughs> but, yeah. Woke is, de uh, accepting everything that is evil. Oh. Uh, so, Ooh. for instance, monster think... cans. Each line represents a six. So you got six, six, six. And then if you look okay. on the monster can itself, uh, in the O of the monster, it has a cross, and it's got, uh, uh, it, it set, represents the Antichrist. So when you drink it, you've got the cross coming down, and that's, uh, that's wokeism yes, sort of in a yeah. nutshell. So that's what woke, that's what, <laughs> that's what woke means, I guess. Yes, in, in a nutshell, it's accepting everything that's evil as good. That, that sounds familiar, actually. That really, really sounds familiar, and it's convenient, too. Uh, do you have another example of when you run into wokeism? Uh, what they're doing with the schools? Like, oh, God. Children? Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Continue watching this clip. And trying to indoctrinate them. I have a granddaughter who's six years old. <laughs> and... You have a granddaughter? Yeah. Wow, you look great for having a granddaughter. Thank you. Um, tell me, then. So... No, she doesn't. <laughs> what kind of indoctrination? I just, I'm asking you just for specific. Uh, I like to graduate high school in Stevens Point. I mean, I have it on my phone. It's it's talking about gender issues and issues that shouldn't even be discussed. <laughs> typical, typical. This is what this is just the same kind of response. Um, this is just the same kind of response we've seen from rally to rally and um, other. Trumpers trying to define the meaning of woke, a term that they've been using for the last couple of years. Um, for some reason, they've been they've been just tying that that word that they've stretched so much. I don't even know if it was honestly a true word at first, but they just kind of stretched it and made it to whatever they wanted the word to mean, and then just tie that to to Democrats. I guess for a distraction or for whatever they want to whatever they want to uh, attack Democrats on, or Biden, or whoever, uh, you know, it's a cult, so. In school, and pushing young children, if it were up to my granddaughter, <laughs> she would be a dog, and they would <laughs> be letting her crawl around on the floor and identify as a dog. That's funny. Until two weeks from now, then she'd be a cat. Mm. And they're letting children transition or mm. telling them to keep it from their parents. Are they? And pushing them to get gender reaffirming care and keep it a secret from their parents. Hmm. Are safe. they? And that's are happening they? at school. There are cases uh, specifically. Uh, all over the United States. So a quick Google search shows that that is simply not true. Um, and there's many there's many um, uh, sources too. Um, this is not true. Um, this is a um, kind of. Uh, weasel a uh, way around their own problems. This is just kind of a blatantly made up statement, um, like the um, many others that Republicans have made up. Um, but this is not happening. No schools aren't accommodating students who identify as animals. Fact check, no evidence that U.S. school children are self-identifying as animals. That's, that's, from many, that's from many sources. Okay, this is not true. This is just a, another lie by the right. Anyways, let's resume, shall we? And we are fighting school boards left and right. <laughs> uh, wokeism. Oh, let's hear what this redneck has to say. It, it's borderline mental issues, I guess. I... Ouch. By the way... The overwhelming majority of Republicans in the House of Representatives voted against um, a bill expanding school mental health services. Just pointing that out there. I would say, I mean, if you don't know what you are 
and you can't see what's going on right now in front of our eyes, it's uh, something's definitely wrong with with those individuals. What what is what is it about Wokeism <laughs> that upsets a lot of the people that would be on these paths today? Well, like you just mentioned, it's the ever-changing thing of it. I mean, you're constantly walking on eggshells, and you have no idea if what I say today is going to be acceptable in four years. I don't think it's okay to be ridiculing and getting upset at people for something they said eight, ten years ago. And that's kind of the whole... Oh, so the Ben Shapiro strategy, I see. Just talking fast and using all these fancy words to, to um, try to make people believe what you're saying, even though you're just making up what you're saying as you go. idea of cancel culture and the wokeness that it's been right now is we're getting people in trouble for things that happened before these things were even wrong to do, so I don't know, I don't agree with and Bro doesn't even know what these things mean. Yeah, that's how, what gets how, people. How would you uh, define woke? Oh man, um... <laughs> to me, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> woke is going out of your way to please everybody around you, um and to accept any ideology that they feel is comfortable for them. And so I don't think that that's how we're supposed to live our lives. I think you should let people do what they want to do, but I shouldn't be forced to, to have to accept those things, and we should all be able to just live how we want to live. That's what I... Kind of like a... Kind of like abortion rights, right? You know? Kind of like, um... Gender-affirming care, or any... Or anything uh, that has something to do with people having their own rights about their own body or who they want to be, right? Is that what you're saying? Because your party's against that, okay? Your party is um, massively against that and has proposed legislation consistently um, to take away those uh, fundamental uh, rights.